What's going on, YouTubers? Heart Collector and Ethan Monster here. Hi. Little man, tell them where we're at right now. We're at Psycho Turtle. Da -da -da. We're back here inside Psycho Turtle. It's only been like moments, literally moments since you saw our last video that we just posted of all that awesome Bakugan stuff. Tell them what we're gonna open today. Today we're gonna open Bakugan, a Bakugan card collection. They're all we do in the start. <laughs> No, we're not. We're doing that in the next video. He's lying, guys. Don't believe him. Today, we're opening up the Baku storage containers. There's two of them. Storage boxes, whatever you want to call them. We're opening up a blue one and a black one. I think there was a red one, right? Mm -hmm. Wasn't there a red one? There was like three colors, I want to say. We got two of them. Ethan picked out these two. He got one from winning. We all got one for free. And then this is mine. We have a, a black one that I went ahead and opened. I let Ethan have it. Wait until you see what's in here. We will open it towards the end of the video. Stay tuned because there's something special that we have to kind of show you. It's a little special, not so much special, but just something that Ethan caught a glimpse of. So here we have two. This is called the Baku storage container. Should I go ahead and open it? or No, I'll show you the packaging first, I guess. Here we go. Take your brawling on the go. I want to call it like a deck box. You'll see why. I feel like just calling it a deck box. So you might catch me saying deck box. It includes Dragonoid Bakugan. <gasps> I forgot about that. Remember? What? When you opened up that one. There's a Bakugan included in here. It just says it right here. I'm thinking maybe put a picture of it or something. Because I completely forgot that it's in there. There's a picture of the cores. You get two Baku cores. You actually get a Bakugan inside of here. Do they all have the same one? This one has... No, they're all different! This one includes the Nilius one. Oh, yeah. That one, this one includes... Oh, does it, it, does it even show it on the back? No, this one comes with... Hydrogis. Look. No, this one includes a Dragonoid. Dragonoid. Like this? But it shows Hydrogis. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wait up. This one shows Nilius, Nilius and Nilius. Nilius. Uh-oh. This one says Hydrus and Dragonoid. Which one is it? Uh-oh, the red one I think has Dragonoid. Uh-oh, sorry about that, guys. There might have been a slight, slight, slight typo, but I'm pretty sure it's going to come with what's pictured. We'll find out right now, but I'm pretty sure it's what's pictured. Uh-oh, small little mistake. It's okay, it's okay. So we got a Baku storage. That's what comes inside of here. One Baku gone, which we're going to find out who. I'm curious now. Two Baku cores, which I have no idea if it's the cores that are pictured here. Do you get one of the little DNA strands and a shield? Because on that one, on the black one, it's showing two shields. So I have no idea. This is actually a mystery now. It's a mystery container. I have no idea what's going to be in here. One character card, and it's going to pertain to whoever it is. Hydrus or Dragonoid. Now I'm really curious. Do we... Okay, let's open up the black one first. We're going to make you guys wait for that mystery. On the bottom, it just shows Bakugan Planet, all the rights reserved, proof of purchase, nothing on the side, and then on the top, ooh, it's got the three three of the main characters. Who do we have there, Monster? Go ahead and name them. Dan Kuza, Leah, and Winston. Yeah, so we got Winston, and then there's Leah, and Dan, right? Mm -hmm. That's Winston? Yeah. That's Winston? No! <laughs> oh, that's Winston. No! Oh, that's Leah. No! No, that's Leah. No! Oh, oh, okay, that's Leah. Lelius. No! Oh, whatever. <laughs> All right, guys. And then, look, look what it says. This is why I wanted to open up two for the channel. It says you can combine the cases together. They actually stack on top of each other. So we're going to see exactly how that works out. And if you look at the picture, it kind of shows you already. You can hold all your Bakugan balls here. Your deck can go right here. And I was told from the makers, it actually can hold your 40 card deck and your three character cards. It has room for all that. And then it will hold your six Baku cores. It may even hold more in case you want to swap one out on the fly. But this has everything you need to take with you when you go to a tournament. So that's kind of why. Whoa, Ethan. What? What? You, I almost stabbed you. This is, <laughs> oh my gosh, this is supposed to be a family friendly channel. Ethan stuck his face right here when I'm using a knife. Oh my god. Oh, we're getting demonetized now. We're get, last video, we're probably going to get shut down because you leaked out stuff from the show. This channel, we're going to probably get shut. This video, we're going to get shut down because, man, we're getting shut down for everything. I almost stabbed you. <laughs> Guys, be real careful when you're opening this. If you need help, get a parent's permission and help. All right, let's see. Let's open. <laughs> and help. All right, let's see. This one should have Nihilus. How do we do this? Just rip it. Rip it. 
Rip it. Rip it. You know what would be crazy? What? You know how Pokemon, I hate to compare it to that right now. You know how the Elite Trainer Box can unfold into a playmat? Uh -huh. What if this container for the Baku storage also Wait. opened up? Elite Trainer Box for the toy. Yeah, it folds into a poster for the Elite oh, Trainer Box. What if this, what if this unfolded into like a battle arena and had all the hexes on there and you can roll or like a trick shot? Uh-oh. There goes my idea. They, they probably took it right now. You guys can have that idea. I want you guys to like have the best of the best product out there. So take that idea if you like it. So here's this fancy, nice little shiny engraved Bakugan logo. Pretty cool. It's all etched in a white. Is it kind of textured? A little bit. A little bit. It's a little paint. You can feel it though. It's all in bows. It has this nice little design that kind of looks like a scale. Kind of looks like, um, what's the, the Cobra's name? Fangzord? Fangzord. I'll say Pizord for some reason. <laughs> Pizord. Yeah, Caramel Cakezord. So then here's the little notches here. So I guess that's where it's going to connect. We'll find out how the connection works. So you crack open these little tabs. There's one tab here and one tab over here. It's kind of like a little fish tackle box. And then it opens up. Oh, it already, look how it comes. So it has a little divider here to, I guess, keep the stuff inside protected and from moving around on you. Here's the Nihilus ball. Wow. No, I didn't even know it came with a Bakugan. It should actually, where's, oh, the cores. Where's the cores? Oh, in here? Oh, they're in here. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and close that up for a moment. Let's show you everything that comes inside. Ethan, go ahead and do the honors of that. I'll do the honors of this ball right here. This is a Nihilus ball. Didn't we get a Nihilus with the deck? Um, what Nihilus? I don't know. Does it Nihilus come in the deck? Is he pretty common? No, we had a, a golden one. Oh, yeah. Man, I don't know if this ball is exclusive. It doesn't really say exclusive, but it could be. Don't quote me on that. This ball of Nihilus, this black version, darkest version, could be exclusive to this black uh, container box. I have no idea. The Baku storage. All right, that's, that's got to grow on me. Baku storage. I'm not used to saying the word storage. I either say box or container, so I'm not used to that. I got to get it. And from this point, you can't really tell nothing. You can see his head. He's just like the gold one. It's the exact same. Now, go ahead and eat and open up the pack of cards. Let's show you Nihilus' card. So you need this card in order to play him. He's pretty powerful in B-Power. 500 right off the bat. And then in order to play him, you have to have the green punching fist and the DNA. Oh, so I see. He has the green punchy yeah, fist. No, on the front, it showed, it's just, I think, a standard. It showed two yeah. shields. So don't think those are the kind you're going to get. It's not going to be it, guaranteed. You got the green punching fish with fish, 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 fish. You have a green fish a green that does 100 B. And then extra three attack power if you have those elements. And then a special DNA. It'll give you 500 B and minus one damage right there. Ooh. So here's the Bogon ball. You ready to open them up? I think you should see the artwork a little bit more. You see the artwork on Nihilus? That's looking pretty sick, huh? Mm -hmm. All right. So let's see right here. You ready? Oh, look who just walked in. Say hi, Josh. Josh is here. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Oh, I can't even let Josh see this. Josh, don't mind any of this. Don't look at it. Don't look. <laughs> All right, here we go. You ready to open it, monster? It's gonna be hard with only two. Try to do it with two. Here we go. No, oh, it's gonna be hard with only two cores. I don't think you're gonna do it. I don't, let's see, maybe. Drop it. Drop it like it pops. <laughs> drop it like it pops. Here we go. Here's Nihilus in it, all his glory. He's got his two little heads right here. His two little feet right here. Doo, 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 doo. Those are on one hinge, so they move together. Then here's his tail. Again, it tells you the B power right on the back of his tail. So he does 500 B power. And then here's like his wings. Or I, I want to call them like shields. <laughs> what are they? <laughs> his little flaps. So there's nice. So you get the two cores. You get Nihilus. And you get this and the Bakugan storage. Now, on to the blue one. On to the secret. I guess before we get to the blue one, let's kind of show you this real fast. So when you open it up, go ahead and roll them into a ball. You know how to do it? Yeah. He's, he's pretty so, easy. You put your legs, you put the head, and then you put the wings. Legs, head, and wings. And then you Heads. Put the tails in the back. And elbows, and knees, and toes. And then, and then you put I'm the a little head. teapot, and short and stout. And then you put Here's the my handle. Here's my spout. 
when do you tip them over? You pour them out. Oh, there you go. You poured them out. <laughs> After all that work. So the cards go here. You put your cards right here, and it should hold 40. I hope it holds all 40 when they're sleeved. I have, We have to test that out later. And then you put your Baku cores here. And it looks like it holds a lot, actually. It'll hold more than, definitely hold more than six. It could probably hold a good 12. And it, <laughs> don't put your buckle core right there. I mean, your buckle gun on there. And then it can go in here. Remember, you do want to have them in their ball form. Otherwise, if you try to leave them like that, you risk damaging them probably or wrecking them if you do try to close it. Always put them in their ball form and then set them in there safe and sound. And then it'll close up fine. And then put them directly where they're supposed to go. But we're going to show you something later that we found out. And then you can clip it. All right, now onto this blue one. Blue. This is the mystery one. This is not a Baku storage. This is a mystery box now. <laughs> Ethan, oh, you're gonna kill me. You're gonna kill me. I'm gonna get in so much trouble. Ethan's purposely trying to get hurt. You can have some time off from the channel. No, no, you're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna sit here and have fun. You're gonna love it. You hear me, you hear me? Yeah. The Ethan forces me to do the video sometimes. Not this one. <laughs> here we go. So here's the Baku storage. It shows the DNA and it shows the shield. It says Dragonoid here, but it's showing Hydrogen. So we're gonna find out the truth. Let's get to the bottom of this. Your Dragonoid or Hydrogen? I'm thinking it's Hydrogen. I'm, I'm thinking the picture, but it could be the name. What do you guys think? Take your guess right now before we open it. Name or picture? All right, what's in here? This blue, I like the blue one better. I think I like the blue one. It's no, kind of see-through. Here we go. No, it's gonna be blue. I'm thinking it's, it's gonna, gonna be Hydrogen, just like, um, ah, sorry. Of course, it's going to be blue with blue. Just remember that, guys. The blue container is going to be the blue one. The three different containers for three different pack arts and three different, like, main Bakugan. Inside, it's exactly the same, but it comes with two different cores now, a different card, and then a different Bakugan. Go ahead and open up the cards, and I'll open up the Bakugan. Here we go. Oh, let's see if I can get this open. At least it comes packaged safely. There's like a little cardboard in there so it doesn't roll around. But man, I can't get it. There we go. You ready? He comes out. So let's see Hydrogen in his glory, in his ball form. And that's really, you can't tell nothing. You can't even tell he's in there. A little bit right there. You can't even tell. I need the cores. You ready? <laughs> he's just having an issue. He's having troubles. Let's see. Well, it's hard if you don't want to mess up the cars. We need, I should go away. Guys, don't don't follow the way I open stuff. I'm I'm gonna get somebody hurt one day. Don't follow me. <laughs> don't follow me for beta at all. I probably bent the card. Okay, here we go. Here's the Hydrus card. And I think I bent it a little bit at the top. I hope not. There's Hydrus. He only has two B but six damage. So ooh. A little bit. If you're gonna run him, you want definitely B boost in your deck. And there's it says he runs with a shield and a DNA. And on the cover it was. A shield and a DNA. Mmm, interesting. This one matches. This one matched what was inside for here, but not for the name. And then the other one matched for what was here, but not for the cores. Interesting. Hmm, interesting. Just go by the picture on the back, guys. Go by the picture on the back. It shows you on the back, okay? <laughs> here we go. This one is the punch, the shield and then the little DNA strand. I, I wish I knew the exact name of it, the term. I'm just gonna call it DNA strand for now. This one has a minus 100B plus four damage. Ouch. If your Bogon lands on that, he's already at a low B. And now you're gonna have minus 100, Wait, ouch. It's different. And then plus 250B. Look, this one's all silver, this one's just like all blue. So on one side, Ethan just, yeah, he just pointed out it's silver on this side. And blue, uh, regular blue on this side. I'm assuming it's because they know you're going to set it flat and no one's going to see it. And then you're going to move it around and it might damage and scratch it. So they only put the print on the top side. So I can see it. So we can, so we can. You're usually going to have it like this or you're going to place it like this against the corner. Because I wouldn't just set it up like that. It's going to fall, tip some way. All right, let's see. Oh, yeah, I got the hiccups. <laughs> All this talking. Let's see how it stacks. You ready? Yeah. So... It's weird. There's like these little kind of little humps right here. Let me try this. And then let's see. How does it stack? No, wait. Oh, wait. Only two stack together this way. Oh, it stacks back. Wait. Oh, wait. Wait. Huh? Oh, yeah. There it goes. Oh, yeah, it stacks like that. 
it stacks together like that to become one? No way. Oh, I thought you'd keep stacking them. So you can carry two. Like you could carry one for you and then one for a friend to learn. Look, it turns into one suitcase. That is pretty crazy. And then flip it over. How good is it like held on there though? Let's see. Not super well. So you want to make sure you always Whoa, hold it from the handle. And then you go like this. Oh, nice. You can keep them stuck together. Like this, that is this. cool. All right, that is cool. Now that is cool. Oh, no, 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 no. You almost did what I said, but to make sure you don't do. Oh my gosh, I saved it. He almost closed it and crushed Nihilus' wings. Oh, you bad man. No, okay, take them out. We're not putting them in there. You're gonna break them. You're gonna break them. Okay, what I wanna guys, what I wanna show you guys now is check out our box. So you guys know we went to the Bakugan event and we got a ton of stuff. We were opening up a bunch of packs the whole time. We were opening up a bunch of the not so much the card collections, but the actual character packs. Wait until you see how many Bakugan balls we have, Monster. You ready for this? Mm -hmm. This is all of our collections so far. We have a total, we have three there. We have one over here, and then I promise you guys, this was all given to us from Spin Master, from Bakugan themselves. They gave us the one and only Mighty Collection. Da -da -da. We have an entire case filled with Bakugan balls. <laughs> Look at that. We're going to be able to fill up double. Look at that. Oh, and that's it. And then we just have the one there. That's completely it. Is there any more in there? there should be. So in total, we we left the tournament with 4, 8, 11, let's see, 13, 16, 19, 20, 22, 23. We got out with 23. And if you want to count the super, super rare one that they gave us, that one's super rare, guys. Go back and watch our other video. It's in the link in the description down below how we got that one. That's the second rarest Bakugan ball in the world. Go in the description and see how they gave it to us. It was epic. Look at all these. So what Ethan found out, he was messing around with it. If you don't put your deck in and you don't put your cores in, they actually made a groove. So if you want to have a container that's just all Bakugan balls. So you can carry four more You can more carry balls. four more balls, but, okay. But, okay, they don't recommend, they didn't tell us to do this. This is Ethan's idea. So if you guys want to do Ethan's idea, Ethan found out that if you move this over, you can, carry more. you can carry one more extra ball. And he already tried this. No, don't put any more. He already tried messing it around with it to try to fit them in other areas. It won't close that way. But it'll stay secure. You just put them in like that. You can actually carry an extra ball. And it closes up perfectly fine and it's perfectly safe and it doesn't roll around or anything. So you can actually fit in an extra ball. You see it in there? So that's pretty, pretty cool. I like that. These storage containers are really cool. I said it. Storage container. There you go. Storage. I just don't want to call it storage. I like storage container or box. But this is a really cool design. I love the fact. That was the first question I asked when I saw this. Um, I didn't see the picture of it. I saw the box. I said, can you put your deck and your cores in there? And when they told me yes... I almost fainted with joy. I was like, oh, thank you. Thank you, because that's perfect. I'm going to keep mine with my area safe for my deck and for my cores. This is a cool box. What do you guys think of the storage containers? Would you get one, and what color would you want it in? Put your comment down below, because remember, the red one comes with Dragonoid. The black one comes with Nihilus. The blue one comes with Hydrus. I'm getting happy. I'm learning these names now. I'm getting happy. <laughs> Which one do you like the best? Not, oh, the black one? I like the Hydra so far. Maybe I would have liked the red one. We didn't get a red one. I didn't even pay attention to that. that we should have got one for each oh, for the video. Oh, they should make a green one. Later, make a green one. If there is, I'll get that one for Maxator. for Maxator. Wait, where'd you get him? Uh, that is, does... Oh, what? You didn't tell me you got him. I didn't even know you had Maxator. Oh my gosh, this is going to be my favorite. Uh-oh, we're going to have to do a whole video later covering that and explaining that. <laughs> In the meantime, guys, you guys have a fun, exciting time collecting Bakugan Battle Planet. It's going to be amazing. I hope you guys are as excited as we are. Monster, you love the line? Yeah. All right, what do they got to do now? They got to get Bakugan, they got to subscribe, uh, like, and comment. And we'll see you guys in another Bakugan Bro! Bye, everybody! Bye.